Welcome back to the Vision on TV studio here at the Dot Activist Conference. It's swelterling, swelteringly hot, but to make up for that, we've got an interview with two great video activists who make really nice films. Can you introduce yourselves? Hello, I'm Stephanie. I'm Felix. Okay, you work for a group called, both work for a group called You and I Films, so how did they get set up? Well, um, You and I Films um, sort of set up a couple of years ago and actually started for, um, as You and I Skills, which was going to be a training site. I was working for um, a university at the time and decided, well, I want to do something slightly different in my career. Um, and so, well, the work that I was doing at the universities that involved interviewing some really, really interesting characters. Um, and the one interview that sort of struck in my mind was Hannah Nostrawi. So, you know, sort of doing this at the Institute of Education for universities. And I'm thinking, well, okay, well, what is there that I can actually do? So I got involved actually with a, my first process at the G20. And so I sort of set out with a very, very early Sony camera. And I thought, oh God, I haven't got the resources of the sort of company now. I've got to sort of go off and do my own thing. Um, so it was a bit sort of limiting with the technology at the time, but I just went out there and I did it. So I started videoing um, a lot of the, the protests and the actions that were going on. But I also wanted to, to sort of make community documentary so you know I sort of got involved with sort of the transition network and started to sort of do things at effectively the grassroots level sort of making short videos and I put all these all together um, and that's how you and I film started um, really it was a sort of a collection of productions that uh, I started with um, and slowly they got better and better um, I remember my first production was about half an hour and I thought oh god everything's going to go in there um, but one of the things that sort of was really interesting about the videos that I was watching online was that for a lot of the protest films they tend to sort of glorify, um, I guess, the sort of heckles and the protests and the sort of conflict. And what I wanted to do was find films or produce films that would inspire but also provide solutions and I think that's really, really important. Um, so the documentaries and the community work that we do now um, sort of hopefully sort of captures some of that. Okay, and how did you get involved? Well, as a graphic designer and photographer, um, I joined Vienna Films and I followed Felix Gonzalez uh, through some, how do you call it, <laughs> in English? Um, interesting protests? Interesting yeah, action. exactly. And I took uh, photographs the whole day long and then we published the photos on the website. And then after, well, while Felix was making his movies, editing, I was um, trying to find the, the, the illustration we could uh, represents the movie. So I believe you, 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 the movies you make are actually what are called really high quality activist, um, activist films because they actually have a story and a beginning, a middle and an end and they kind of inspire people. Um, you know, do you think, because a lot of activist films don't do that, you know, do you think, think we, can, we should encourage people to, to make better quality activist films? I think um, stories and imaging is really, really important. I think to, to, to be able to sort of inspire people, you have to tell a good story. And I think that's a sort of craft that you have to really work at. And I think sort of working collaboratively with people, um, working with organisations, but also working with information as well. And that's really important. I think it's all very well and fine putting up some images, but I think there has to be substance to that. So yeah, we, we really try, or I really try to sort of pursue the idea of not only making something that has sort of content, but also is, is, is creative. And I think that's the other thing, that we're trying to sort of marry the sort of traditional documentary filmmaking with something that looks beautiful and I think by having sort of a combination of something that's creative it'll strike the imagination with the message. So what's next? What, what would you like to do next? Next. With you and I films? You and I films. I would like to improve my knowledge in animation as I draw a lot I would like to make um, drawing animation about activism. Okay and Felix? Well, I think that's a really important value that um, we're starting to find very complex situations where we're working with statistical data, we're working a lot of analysis. How do you condense that into a form that's sort of easy representative, which isn't going to bore people? So, you know, Stephanie's a fantastic talented illustrator, so she's actually helping me sort of create those sort of icons and those images. And we're starting to see a few more elements of animation within the film. Um, and so, you know, we're sort of taking it hopefully sort of next level so it's, it's constantly evolving if you look at the site and you sort of look at some of our early films you get really bored but sort of now you know we're starting to sort of branch out with a few more elements there that it's taking a bit more time but we're sort of finding our process and a workflow together so yeah 
Fantastic. Thank you very much for coming along to the studio. And um, if you want to check out their films, you and I films, highly recommended. Okay, let's see what's coming up next. <laughs>